Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We're here in the Face Shrine. We saved way up here, I think. No, wait, not up there. Over here. This is where we saved. And, you know, since I had to quit and reload, I'm back at the entrance. But that's not a big deal because I have the warp point that'll just bring me right here. So let's take advantage of that. And up the one room. And down the stairs. Yeah, if I didn't uh, have the super weapon to kill that guy, I could have hung onto this ladder up here to dodge him. Okay, yeah, this is the correct place. And there's an owl statue that I did not have the uh, stone beak when I found last time. Nothing underneath there, okay. Oh good, these things are still where they're supposed to be. I don't have to go through that obnoxious puzzle again. those thwomps. And now the pose voices. Now let's see. Looks like up here is another treasure chest. I don't know if it has a key or not, but I do need to investigate that. Oh, I got a time when I pick these things up. Okay. There we go. And let's get those bombs. Since they're flying out there, I might as well pick them up. Oh great, now what? Pa. Okay. Set the room and then get through. I'm starting to understand. These are chess knights, so they move two spaces and then take a ninety degree angle turn. think. Yeah. 
Okay, but it seems like the black one only goes down. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's just money? Okay, this is starting to get irritating. Operating at all. Maybe up here? No. Over here? So it goes to Link's. Right. That just shatter their one. Uh, whatever. Looks like coming up here was completely optional. Hmm. All right then. Well, at least I have the treasure. Just these things again. Fah. their mouths closed for a few moves after I bomb them like that. So I just gotta wait it out now. There it goes. Okay, I could have gotten out of here by jumping over there and heading back, but I needed to go through. Alright, now I need the hook shot. If this is not the uh, boss key up here, I will be very surprised. better to have that as. Hmm. 
To open the treasure chest, use the pots around it. Did I have to throw the pots at the chest? Sometimes, you know, things respawn when you walk far enough away. Not this time. Shoot, am I gonna have to go around the long way? Looks like I just might have to. Well, I guess it's not too far. I have to go over here, up here. The staircase will bring me over here. I have to go around this way again. So, actually, yeah, it is pretty far. Alrighty then. to move forward. I think I see what I need to do, but I have to have the orange ones up. The orange ones are up, the blue ones are down. I go up those stairs, hop down onto the orange ones there, and then use the rock's feather to jump over to that orange one and go up. Fortunately, I have them the wrong way around. It's a power, yay. I really needed that, I'm sure. the uh, Y button. Wait, oh, this isn't the way. I do in fact need to go up. guys are still in place, I can just walk right through. Yeah. Right, more of these guys. Uh, da -da. Is that ever actually specified in the game? I don't remember. Let's see here. Okay, no, I don't need to go this way. I was thinking I needed to go up there to hit the uh, switch change the colors of the uh, 
pegs that are up or down. But no, there's one up here near the boss key. There we go. It's a mean trick. Putting all of those lovely breakable pots there, and of course you break them all, and then, oh, you can't open the treasure chest, so you have to go all the way around to leave the room completely and go all the way around to make them respawn. Really mean trick. But you've already got some. <laughs> oh boy. All that trouble to get something I already had. Yeah, I got that from Crazy Tracy, I believe. Well, I can come back for it later if I want to. Although, seriously, why would I want to? I should just go to Crazy Tracy and get some more from her. It's easier. Okay, yes. So I, yeah, I want to go ahead up here. As if I was going back to the same place. But instead, after I go through here... After I go through here, I want to go down. Okay, I've got the uh, strength to walk against the. Gonna give me some life power? Hmm. Two of the eight torches are not burning. Okay, that didn't do anything. Right then, what would be good to take into the boss? See if that does the trick. It's 
Spacer. I think that's his name. Hey, dummy, need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops, there I go, talking too much again. Facade. Facer facade. Pretty close. the entire floor there. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything! Really? Blowing up like all good bosses should. But what he's obviously hinting at is that Link will disappear also. He's claiming that Link is part of the dream. You've got a heart container, yada, yada, yada. And... I mean, Link probably doesn't think that's true. But hey, does anyone on Coleman Island think that they're just dreams and not real? Anyway, now we have the Coral Triangle. little tune. Mountain. Something calls from the mountain. That icon on the bottom right that shows the loading icon there. I know that's supposed to be the windfish's egg, but it looks like a a grinning face. Kind of like the man on the moon or something. Hoot. Many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken. The monster's power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Now, go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird. Hoot, hoot. Mister, you're the one who has wings here. Let's see. So I'm going to go to... Dump his shack next. I wonder, have I gotten any more secret seashells since the last time I checked the mansion? Hmm... Then there's this place down here. I think I have all the items I need to get in there now. Let's give that a shot, but then I'm definitely going to go back up to Dampy's Shack. Alright, what do I need to do for that? Okay. Uh, Mambo's Mambo.
Okay. So Cuckoo Prairie. And then down from here. Well, there's a uh, seashell nearby, eh? That. Yeah, in the tree. Secret seashell, yada yada yada. Out this phone booth yet? I have. Okay. I mean, he says something different every time I call him, but I just wanted to know if it was marked on the map. Okay, hook shot. Get me across. Start here. Go this way. <laughs> Don't run the ball. The writing's on the other side. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to kind of go around to do that. going in the specified direction until you hit a sign. Now go this way. Try again from the start. Okay, this was the wrong sign. I, I should have gone to this sign. Ah. But this one. 
Great, you did it. Your reward is this one. Huh, alrighty. Viewers, something just came up. I'm gonna to have to put a quick cut here. Uh, sorry, just a moment. Okay, we're back. Now then, <clears throat> in we go. Oh, how droll! It's Wart from Super Mario Brothers 2 American. The weird one. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you say? I have 1300 rupees, so yeah, sure. course good don't quit your day job you've learned the frog song of soul it's a very moving tune that can even liven up unliving things if you play the song you'll make everything around you feel more alive well that's interesting Does that mean I could go to the graveyard and turn all those zombies back into real people? Okay, you guys owe me a heart. There we go. Gone on tour, Mama. Hey, can you see me from there? No? Hmm. I was gonna... Ho I was hoping I could lure him into the holes. No? Well, that's unfair. Rupee fell in the hole, but not him. That's irritating. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Ulrira, see what he has to say. Bring, bring. Hi, it's Ulrira. Have you heard of the flying rooster of Mabe Village? In the good old days, it used to give us rides if we held it above our heads. Now it is lying under the weather vane. Is that useful for you? I hope so. Bye, click. Yeah, that might come in handy. <laughs> you owe me another heart or two. Stupid game. They don't need the rupees. There we go. Now then, dump a shock. We should have a whole lot of new dungeon rooms that we can make use of. Uh, 
Hey there, company's always welcome. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. Yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Huh, that's quite the tale. You got some new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. What are you here for? Well, let's try arranging. There should be a new one. A passage across. Okay. Hmm. You can't place chambers on those light gray tiles to the upper right. The only way to reach those tiles is with chambers that have stairs. That's what this challenge is about. You'll learn how to use stairs to cross long distances, or you'll fail. One of the two. Well, I've done that before. So it's not too hard. Let's see here. guy the dungeon boss okay let's see now I want a chamber that has two exits needs to be the the axis need to be up and right darn none of those have stairs okay let's try up and left okay there's one that has stairs in fact there's a couple that have stairs Okay, let's put this one right here. And now... has just one exit going down. Dungeon entrance. Let's see here. Let's go with the one we just did.
Hmm, I'm just kind of winging it here. Exits. And hmm. yeah, this one. Stick that here. This one between it. Put this one here. was helpful. When I put it here, it didn't erase the entrance chamber. It basically tried to replace it. And it picked up the entrance chamber and put that one in its place, and then I had the entrance chamber under control. So then I just put the entrance chamber back down, since that was a mistake, and it picked this one up again. challenge. Alright. I think that should do it. Try running this dungeon. You gotta get out of the arrangement screen and then adventure. Can I even get through this one? Let's find out. All of those sealed doors. 
Really not good dungeon design. You get to the mini boss far too early. putting the hook shot there. I want the super weapon, obviously. Okay, that's not going to go unavenged. Oops. Don't want the magic powder anymore. Okay, can't get to the chest unless I bomb it open. There we go. A small key to open a locked door. Yeah, really not the best dungeon design. I mean, you get, to, you get to the mini boss right away. It should take longer. I probably should have put him up here or something like that. Or maybe even like over here. about it now. Stupid anti-fairy. Stupid whatever those things are. There, I thought the door wasn't open. Okay, I need both of these treasure chests. Let's get this one first. small key okay now I got two of those five rupees yay Nice try. Yeah, 
This game really goes for the Mario tropes. Crossing a bridge was cheap cheeps. No more blobs, okay. One rupee. One more rupee. A guardian acorn. Oh, I'm just getting all the treasure today. be the boss key. Yep, the nightmare key, excuse me. So now we can go to the nightmare's lair, etc, etc. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I could do that. I probably knew that before and forgot. Okay, time to fight the genie. can't block that. I can't move, but he's still alright. Yada yada yada. Breaker. Ah, I miss it. Okay. Passage across clear. What a show! There were times I swear you had one foot in the grave, said the gravedigger. A thrill like that deserves something for my collection in exchange. You got a chamber. Okay, thanks. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. What are you here for? Uh, I think we're done. Oh, well, no big deal. At least we're done for now. We'll be coming back again. Okay. Question is, where to next? 
Yeah, I'm thinking I'd like to go back to the Yarna Desert down there. Because when I was there before, I didn't have the seashell detector. I'd like to go back there with the seashell detector see if I can detect any seashells. Makes sense, I think. So there's the closest warp. And off we go. Dog barks, and cat meows. <laughs> okay, I've used that phone booth. I want to have it on the map. I'm a collector. Got to get all the map markers that I can at least figure out. Got to be up there somewhere on this ledge. Where's that rattling noise coming from? around here, no secret seashells. Levers! Yeah. Seemed like a conspicuous spot. Sea bears foam, sleep bears dreams, both in the same way crash. Okay. That still doesn't make too much sense to me. Looks like there's nothing up here. I guess I got it already. Right, now I go up here. The detector didn't sound. Hmm. It would appear I was mistaken. Now it's sound. Hmm. 
Bombable spot on this wall, perhaps? Speaking of bombs. I can't blow up those things. I can't dig up the spot that has flowers. Okay, let's think for a bit. The tone is sounding when I'm going through here. That seems... Seems pretty clear. It's got to be in here somewhere. But I tried digging around up there and it didn't show up. Could it be then? I see Yarna Desert. I can't dig up the flowers, and I can't dig up those stones. on this one. And then it sounds on this one. So it's got to be between these two areas. It's got to be somewhere like around here. This is pretty much in the center of the two spots where it sounds out. Huh. So it has a wider arc down here. down there somewhere? Although I'm not sure how I would get down there. by radius, then that means I'm closer down here than up here. So it's got to be over here somewhere. Can I swim down there somehow? I don't believe that I can. Everywhere that might allow me to swim is closed off from this, from the sea down here with reefs. There are stones in the way. Okay, what's this saying? There's a secret seashell around here somewhere, but I really am kind of stumped. I 
dug up everywhere and it didn't pop up. I tried blasting a couple places. That didn't work either. Huh. Yeah, that's... I really don't know. Huh. Well, you know what? I'm not going to keep beating my head against this wall. I'll figure it out later. Back to Mabe Village. Okay. Well, viewers, I believe this is the end of the episode. Here sleeps the flying rooster, yeah. Well, Rira told us about this over the phone. So yeah, we need to uh, apparently revive the rooster from the dead and use it to get to the to the uh, next dungeon. That seems to be what Rira was saying. So yeah, we're going to do that in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and I will see you next time.